Hello again. This is Friss 1989. Today, as the title suggests, we're going to go over installing I2P. Now, what is I2P? I2P is essentially, let's actually Google this. I like to visually learn. So I'm actually going to bring up what I2P is right here so you can actually read it. Sometimes hearing it, doesn't always get it across and that's fine. I want to make sure everyone is able to learn this. So I2P is, is, a, is a common question. It's essentially the invisible internet project. It's an overlay network and dark net that allows applications to send messages to each other anonymously uh, and securely. Uses include um, web surfing, chatting, blogging, and file transfers. So now like P2P, uh, Pirate Bay, for example, or Kick-Ass Torrents, you would want to use an I2P because it can mask your IP uh, from being tracked. So now if I, like right now, for example, the Pirate Bay has issued a mass alert that in the United States, they're currently cracking down on torrenting. So we want to make sure we're using an ITP for even that. And, and Pirate Bay is available on the surface web. So that just tells you how important the ITP network has become. How do we use ITP? I've actually got my own guide here typed out for you guys. Let's bring that up. We're going to be using terminal, but we're not going to do this as root. As you notice, I got sudo here. So if you're on Windows, you don't need to do this. Um, for Windows users, I'm not going to go over that because I don't suggest doing this on Windows. But if you're going to do it on Windows, you got to look that up yourself because I'm not going to get into that because that's not going to happen. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. But let's get started installing I2P. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our terminal. I'm going to put these side by side for you. So you can see, and you can type. First thing we always, always want to do, this isn't the first step necessarily. First thing we always want to do is we open terminal. No matter what the command is, we always do that. Get update. We want that update, make sure all our, all our packages are up to date. So it's going to get, it's going to hit um, about 20 sites to make sure that we're all caught up and look, reading package list, done. So we're good. So now we can actually begin coding um, and installing the repositories for I2P. So our first command is sudo apt add repository. This is all one command, ppa colon I2P dash maintainers slash I2P. You need to make sure you put the, the slash here the correct way, the colon, and the dash is in the correct spot. So to begin, sudo apt add repository ppa colon i2p dash maintainers forward slash i2p. Now it's probably we're going to say that I have it. So now if we look down in the in the list, so I2P is an anonymizing network offering a simple layer that identity sensitive applications can use to securely communicate. All data is wrapped with several layers of encryption and the network is both distributed and dynamic with no trusted parties. So including mail, peer to peer, IRC chat and others, including Tor. Tor is not listed on there, but it's part of it. Trust me. Anyways, if you need more information, you can visit the website. It's a clickable link. Um, and you can uh, get some additional software as well. You can also report bugs and new developers and source code repository information. You can click there. More information, click there. Anyways, the command tells us to press enter to continue or control C to cancel adding it. So we're going to enter. So now it's going to begin creating it. I already have it, so it's going to go really fast. All right. Next step 
is to um, add the PPA to our Etsy apt sources dot list dot D and fetch the GPG key that the repository has already been signed with. The GPG key it basically ensures that the packages have not been tampered with since being built. For example, by the NSA, the FBI could have altered those files to make um, essentially be able to worm people into finding them. After we install this, uh, we're going to notify our package manager of the new PPA by entering sudo apt get update. We're going to do that again, and it's not going to ask for a password this time because we already put it in once. So it's going to fetch all these new packages, um, which, for example, it didn't find any for me. Next, we're going to actually install the I2P network. So this command will retrieve the latest list of software from each repository that is enabled in your system, including the I2P PPA that was added with the earlier command. And now we are ready to install I2P. So we're going to do a sudo apt, sorry, apt get install I2P. Now you can see uh, zero upgraded, zero newly installed, zero to remove, and seven not upgraded. So I don't need to do anything because I already have it installed. So I could even do sudo apt get um, upgrade or install upgrade, I'm sorry, to ensure that or maybe it was just upgrade. So I actually do have seven because of that seven. So I need to actually upgrade that. So just in case, I would always just run at the end sudo apt dash get upgrade. Let me actually add that to my thing. I forgot to set that. So sudo apt get upgrade. So that's going to go. It's almost done there. That's why I'm not going to just pause the video while that's going. But that's almost done. So it's just unpacking those files that we just installed. All right. It's almost done. Now it's exiting. As you can see here, it says exiting. So we're just processing the triggers now, preparing to unpack a few more things. Um, we're getting Google Chrome, the stable version going here. We've got some other things here, almost there. So as you can see, the process for this is we got to read the database. Well, first, I'm sorry, we got to get the packages we want. So we need to get the packages. Then we need to process to prepare to read the database. Then we got to prepare to unpack the database that we want. And then we're going to unpack them, process, unpack, process, unpack. And then we got to, some files you may have to rebuild. Some you may need to process, set up, or update overall. Once that's all done, you'll see there's, you get your green text back. Now we're done with I2P. So how do we start the I2P? We're actually not going to start it quite yet um, because that is the end of the video. So actually, you know what? I will show you how to start it. So to start it, I'm actually gonna clear this out for you. So we're gonna type clear. And to start it, we're gonna say I2P router start. And mine's already running because it's always running from the, my boot. I have mine set so it goes from boot mode um, to immediately run. So my is always, always, always connected to I2P no matter what I'm doing. If I'm just on Facebook, it's constantly going. So anyways, guys, that is how you install the I2P network router um, for Ubuntu. If you need other versions, you can find it on the website. Um, you can just go to get getitp.com. And it will it will instruct you how to install for your um, certain distribution of Debian, Ubuntu, Android, Lynx, Solaris, BSD, Mac OS X, Windows, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my name is Frist1989. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below and make sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.